Good morning. Today we're going to look at Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. There used to be, there is a saying that says, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Very untrue statement. Have you ever heard the words, you'll never amount to anything? Have you ever heard the words, you're too slow to be on my team, or you're not tall enough to be on my team? I heard those words time and time again as a, as a kid in my neighborhood <clears throat> that I grew up in. There was kids everywhere. We'd play all the sports in the seasons. <clears throat> and I was generally the last one to be chosen because I was too short to play basketball, and I was too blind to play baseball, and I didn't weigh enough to play football. So I was always the last guy. They'd find a there and say, well, come on. So those words can hurt deeply, and you can remember those for the rest of your life. Words spoken in anger or spoken to berate us will last for a long time. So people, some people never get over them. What happens sometimes if somebody has said you'll never amount to anything, people either become a tremendous overachiever to prove that person wrong, or they become an underachiever to say they're right anyway, so why should I try? But then he says the second part of this proverb, he says, the tongue of the wise promotes health. Positive words give life. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. There are positive words of life. Jesus died as a demonstration of His love for us. So when we speak to people, let us give words of affirmation. Let us give words of comfort and words of strength. We need to share things with people that will strengthen their character. Words uh, that, uh, of affirmation will be remembered also for a long time. These words can be shared with others as God places people in your path. Make sure your words, even though seasoned with salt at times, are for the purpose of edifying. Planting positive words in someone's life will bring multitude dividends, not only to you and possibly your friendship, but also people around them. So see that we walk wisely, as it says in Ephesians chapter 5, and that we pay attention to being positive in sharing words with people that we meet or people that we know. Thank you.